Hello, uh, Enthusiastic Steve here. We're going to take a look at the Retivis RB618, part of the Outdoor Discovery family range of radios. Here in the UK and across Europe, these radios are known as 446 MHz PMR radios, with a maximum transmit of 0.5 of a watt. In the US of A, uh, these are sold as FRS radios, Family Radio Services. They transmit on a slightly different frequency to the 446 PMR ones here in the UK and Europe. They transmit on 462 and 467 megs. They also have a NOAA-capable uh, weather reception for weather reports where it's available. So let's uh, take a look at this radio. It's quite a compact little radio, lovely little design, a uh, fixed antenna to meet the 446 regulations, and a nice LED uh, green display. This radio is 16 channels, unlike many sold in Britain, which are only 8 channel PMR radios. The rotary control knob on top of the radio is to turn the radio on and off and to operate the volume levels. The two arrows on the buttons on the front of the actual radio uh, for a channel select and this radio comes with two not one but two PTT buttons which is actually a very useful feature as standard with Chinese type radios that has a flashlight inbuilt as well another useful feature is the fact that the radio is chargeable by a standard USB connector the battery it comes with it is 3.7 volts and a thousand milliamp hours this can give up to about 14 hours of use and so far I've had this radio on for two days and I've not even lost one bar at the uh, top. That's not two days solid but I've had two days of play with this radio and the battery is uh, really in good condition. It has a fixed and a stylish antenna, uh, not overly long and I don't think it's going to get broken off. It's fairly sturdy but it does seem to work very well. Now there's one small tiny little niggle with this uh, radio. When you buy it, it don't actually get a program and lead or cable with it. And unfortunately, things like uh, tones and certain other controls, squelch levels, etc. can only be changed if you actually plug it into a computer and program it. Now mine came with uh, CTC codes turned on uh, which meant other radios I had with uh, which I could change the codes on I had to change them to actually be able to transmit or receive on it so I did have to actually plug it into a computer fortunately I had a standard Beofung uh, USB connector laying around with the two pins and this just plugs straight into the Vetivis radio the program port is a standard two pin uh, configuration jack plugs on the right hand side of the radio you will need to go onto the Retivis uh, website to download the driver and also the uh, computer program software, the CPS software, the British one for this radio. Once you've downloaded the uh, Retivis RB618 CPS, it should look something like this. You can change some, but not all of the settings. CTC, DCS codes, uh, you can change the bandwidth, you can add it or remove it from a scan list, you can uh, adjust the squelch and the timeout timer, etc. Turn off the voice um, and a few other bits as well, like the battery saver. Now the grayed out boxes, unfortunately, are the things you cannot change, such as the RX and TX frequency and the TX power. Now for the eagle eyed amongst you, you will notice at the bottom of that screen, it says 400 to 480 megahertz. Now this looks like this CPS software is a generic software for use with other radios. So I did some hunting and I found a generic Chinese one. And if you look at the top of there, you will see what it's actually called. So you can do your own search for that. This enabled me to actually then change those frequencies and change the power settings. Now let's take a quick closer look at the Chinese version. Unfortunately it's all in Chinese. So the first thing you need to do is highlight the box I'm showing here on this screen. Drop down menu, pick the second item down. Then click on this small little box to the left. Once this is done it was easier for me to navigate around the software. And it also allowed me to change the TX power. Though looking at it, it doesn't seem to make a lot of difference. It may not work on this particular model. But the RX and TX frequencies will allow me to change them anywhere between 400 and 480 megs. Which meant I could actually program in some amateur radio 70 centimeter repeaters.
and this is my final CPS uh, program. Uh, this is what it looked like. I decided to get rid of channels 14 and 15 of the PMR, and I'll put in the two local repeaters closest to me. So let's get out and do some on-air testing. I set up my SDR player as a receiver uh, using an outside antenna just to see the uh, what the audio quality was like. I set it up for channel 12 and I also did some on-air on -air test to the local 70 centimeter uh, repeaters. Okay, just gonna get mobile now and uh, test the uh, Vectivus. Gonna receive it on the home base antenna just to see how it sounds from different distances. 0.5 of a watt. This is quite close to my home location, so it's going to be a nice loud and clear signal as a, as a benchmark. Testing, testing, test transmission, and one, two, one, two, three, four. Test transmission from very close, close by, very close by, uh, one, two, three, four, from inside the car. So we've come out uh, not too far from my home location just to test the uh, Vectivist now on, on the uh, amateur. 70 centimeter repeaters one's about 17 miles away and one is about seven or eight miles away so i will give them a quick try this is half a watt and that's the repeater coming back uh, so somebody's actually accessing it so let's give them a call mexico sits a whiskey victor victor handheld portable mexico sits handheld portable calling uh, through the gb3 iw repeater Sounds a good signal coming back from about 17 miles away. But nobody on it at the moment. 6NA2, Gulf 6 November Hotel Uniform, mobile. Uh, November Hotel Uniform, I believe. Uh, this is Mexico Sits uh, Whiskey Victor Victor Handheld Portable. Uh, good morning to you, or is it just afternoon? Thank you for coming back. I'm just out testing a Vetivis little handheld, very small handheld radio. It's only on a, about one watt or half, I think it's half a watt on this one actually. Um, and I'm um, about 17 miles away from the repeater. I'm actually over in Fairham. So uh, back to you. This is Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor Victor. Sounds like he's lost. <laughs> I'm following the sat nav trying to get somewhere. Um, went out for a drive yesterday morning, ended up on the island. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm up to at the moment. M6WVV Portable, G6N, AU Shoot Mobile. We'll go ahead. Yeah, Mike Sitz, uh, Whiskey Victor, Victor Returner. Yeah, sorry about that, the name here is Steve. Sierra Tango Echo, Victor Echo. Uh, so I'm over on the mainland. Um, I know exactly where I am today. I'm not lost like you. But to uh, know the Isle of Wight, a lovely place to visit, lovely place to drive around. Um, I say hopefully we'll find some things open there. If not, there are some lovely pubs uh, on the Isle of Wight, I believe, where you can actually go and have a nice meal and a, a soft drink if you're driving. Anyway, I won't hold long because I just want to quickly test this. I'm, I'm just going to go and try the repeater at Southampton through the Southampton repeater now. But your audio on this little radio, so say a little Vetivis 618, um, and I've pro reprogrammed it. To, it's a PMR radio, but I've reprogrammed it to work on the 70 centimeter amateur band, and it all appears to be working very well, even though it's very low power. So I appreciate you coming back. Enjoy your visit there on the Isle of Wight, and uh, I'll look forward to speaking to you again when I'm uh, possibly home base and uh, we can have a longer conversation. Mike Sitz, a whiskey, a Victor, Victor. Better go and clear after, this, after your finals. 73s. Yeah, thanks, Steve. 6WVV, G6NA, Tube Mobile. Well, it's a flying visit, it literally is. I, know, I live in Essex. I'm on the northeast coast of Essex, and uh, I went out yesterday morning for a drive. Oh, there you go. I thought I'll go down south, see where I end up. Saw it's signs nice of come back. Went to Portsmouth, saw signs for the ferry. Drove on, bought a ticket to the ferry and came over. Literally spurred a moment. There you the go. first time I've been to the Isle of Wight. Otherwise, a lovely place and, to visit. Uh, it's a beautiful blue, as you see, blue skies today. So, thanks for the care. So, nice to work you. Good signal into repeat. I didn't say fully quietening, no issues whatsoever. Um, That's what counts. And catch you again sometime, maybe. M6WVV, G6NH, mobile clip. Drive safe in 73s. Mike sits, Whiskey Victor Victor, now clear. I measured the distance on Google Maps and it's approximately 16, 17 miles as the crow flies directly to the uh, repeater from my location. So that was a nice little test through GB3IW. 
and all appears to be working well. Good report back. I'm on a slightly raised location here, but there is some hills around us, and it is about 16 or 17 miles from this location to the Isle of Wight repeater. The Isle of Wight repeater is a good repeater, but uh, there you go, all working well. I'll try from here to my uh, home location now, where I've got the uh, SDR play on receive, just to see what the audio sounds like uh, from here. Now to do a test on the repeater here towards the west from this location, over in uh, towards Southampton. I believe it's GB3SU, and uh, we'll give that a call. Mike Sitz, uh, Whiskey Victor Victor. This is Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor Victor. Doing a test through GB3SU. Uh, testing, testing, I'm uh, using a Retivis handheld radio, currently out portable in Fairham. Mike sits a whiskey, Victor, Victor, standing by. Yeah, you know, oh. you're on my WC. <laughs> Apologies, I do really, yeah. That's the, that's the only problem with this radio, it's only got channel numbers and not the actual, uh, any identification of what repeat or frequency you're on. Uh, my mistake, I do apologise there. Uh, this is Mike Sitz, Whiskey, Victor, Victor. Now I'm making sure he goes to the correct channel. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, no problem, Steve. You're welcome. I'm clear of the town now, so uh, as you're on open roads, seven feet. Enjoy the wireless. G6 and eight. Yeah. You're mobile. Back to listening. Yeah, thank you for that. Have a safe drive. I do like experimenting, but it's, it's quite funny when it goes wrong. All right, all the very best. Mike Sitz, Whiskey Victor Victor. Now clear the Isle of Wight repeater, going over to the SU in Southampton. A Mexico sits uh, whiskey Victor Victor. Mexico sits whiskey Victor Victor out portable uh, in Fairham. Given a call via handheld into GB3 SU. Standing by for any calls. Mike sits a whiskey Victor Victor. I can just hear the repeater ID beep come back then. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get anybody on there. Sounds a little bit weak in the IW one. Uh, probably because there's a big concrete fort between me in line of sight and, that, and the repeater. Again, using Google Maps, the uh, GB3SU, 70 centimetre repeaters, about eight miles or so to my west. Uh, Apologise about the lighting. The sun is beaming through here, through the side of the car. I'm about a mile and a quarter to a mile and a half from my home location. I thought I'd just give a quick another call out on the, uh, I've set up on channel 12 on my SDR play, just to see what it sounds like now, about a mile and a half away. Mile and a half and one mile and a half away, sat inside the car, so no great height uh, in the centre or on the edge of town. So going through lots of houses and buildings, uh, just testing one, two, three, four, five, just to see how this sounds. Mile and a half and one mile and a half away, sat inside the car, so no great height uh, in the centre or on the edge of town. So going through lots of houses and buildings, uh, just testing one, two, three, four, five, just to see how this sounds. That sun's caused some problems this morning. Um, I'm now about two miles away from my home location, so we'll try another quick call, uh, just on the other side of Fairham itself. Uh, testing, testing into my SDR play, testing, testing signal. Two miles away, two miles away, sat inside the car. See how this sounds. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. Testing into my SDR play, testing, testing signal. Two miles away, two miles away, sat inside the car. See how this sounds. So there we go. Uh, that was actually the Southampton repeater picking up actually from indoors at home on the uh, little Red Retivis uh, PMR radio uh, slash reprogrammed for amateur use as well. I'm very pleased with this radio. Uh, the quality of build for £15, that's all it cost, £15 English pounds. You can shop around on the internet. Uh, I won't put any links anywhere because there's various sites that sell them, but they're through uh, Vetivis. You can get them there direct or there's other sites. I ordered this one. It came from Germany. It arrived in the UK within 24 hours 
absolutely fantastic service um, I would recommend this radio. It's a good 446 radio. It's got the 16 channels. And with the software I showed you, you can actually program it for use within the amateur bands. Or, again, if you're there in the US of A, um, yeah, you've got your own FRS versions as well. You can probably reprogram uh, those to whatever frequencies you require for your 70 centimeter uh, ham bands as well. Lovely bit of kit. Very sensitive. Works well. What's more is there to say. So, thank you very much again for watching. This has been Enthusiastic Steve, uh, playing with his new little Retivist radio. Uh, please subscribe if you've not subscribed before and you'd like to see some more of my videos. So, 73s, and uh, good luck, and uh, see you again real soon. Stay safe.